I recently did a video on neutral patriotic decor and today I'm bringing you five red, white, and blue DIYs that were under $5 each to make. And if you're new here on this channel, I love to share DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is our gray house. Okay, today's video is part of the five under $5 DIY challenge. It's hosted by Missy from the Crafty Cove, Tracy from Farm Charm Chic, and it's hosted by Tammy from the Rest of Willow, who I actually got to meet in person. You'll have to watch the end of the video. She does a guest appearance for me. Now, a lot of my DIYs today are from Dollar Tree, if not all of them. So this is one of the Dollar Trees I frequent. And yeah, let's get started. I'm taking a terracotta pot and this is a little bit larger one, so I'm not sure that I got it from Dollar Tree, but you can find similar sized pots at Dollar Tree and you can do the same thing. So I did paint it white and then I'm just very, I'm not using any painter's tape or anything like that. I'm just drawing two red stripes around the pot. And then I'm adding blue to the top. Now this, these colors are just a little brighter than I normally gravitate to and of course I do love neutrals but I think if I try to do this again I'm gonna try to find even more muted blues and reds and so to embellish this and to kind of finish it off I am just taking some felt stars and I'm just attaching them around the top of the pot now I did go back in and distress the pot I just took a sanding block that I got from Dollar Tree and just kind of went all the way around the pot and, you know, just kind of roughed it up a little bit. All right, for this next part, I'm taking some Waverly paint, in, chalk paint in the color white, <laughs> and I'm just painting these three cubes that I got from Dollar Tree, just giving them a good coat all around. and you're kind of getting a sneak peek at some of the other projects going on. But I took three wooden stars and I painted one, painted one white, one blue, and can you guess the next color? <laughs> Red. So um, I have three stars that are gonna go on this project. And I'm taking some burlap that I got from Hobby Lobby, and although you can find similar at Dollar Tree, and I'm just cutting it to the size of the front of my little cubes. And then I'm cutting off the ends. It's wired burlap. And so I'm just cutting off the ends. And then I'm trying to pull, you know, so it looks more frayed and kind of more rustic. I got this, well, Whit uh, Whitney over at Whiskey and Wit did this exact same project. So basically, I'm copying her. I'll have a link to her video in the description box below. But I'm just now gluing the stars and the burlap to the front, or what I'm considering the front of these cubes. Okay, so for the next DIY project, I'm going to be making something that Mary Beth made at MB Gray Designs. It is a flag made out of Jenga blocks or tower tumbling blocks. So what you do is you take three and you put them together and you glue three sets of two together and three sets of three together. And you're gonna paint the longer sets, you're gonna paint red and white well, you see I'm painting these white. And now I'm painting those other ones red. So it's gonna alternate colors. It's gonna look like the stripes on the flag. And then I'm painting that little square piece blue because that's gonna be where the star goes. I just loved how she made this, so I just I knew I had to recreate it when I saw it. So now I'm just gonna hot glue all of the pieces together to create a flag. I'm taking this mason jar shaped sign that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just removing that little twine hanger at the top and then I'm going to re be removing the little embellishment on there. I'm not going to be using this side, but I like the back to be flat because I'll cover it with brown craft paper when I'm done. 
And I'm just using my scissors, not my good scissors. <laughs> I'm just using some scissors to kind of cut off that top piece because I'm not gonna be using the straw. And I'm taping off so that I can paint that upper portion blue. And then I'm going to tape off the, well, you know what I have to do first? <laughs> I need to paint that bottom part white. So yeah, there we go. <laughs> I'm like, wait, Lucy, you got to paint it white first. So I'm just using that Waverly chalk paint in the color white and I'm getting, giving it a good coat of white paint. And then I'm going to go in. Now I'm going to add my stripes. And you guys, I mean, you know what I'm making, <laughs> so, but I use that little piece of tape just to kind of like a spacer. And then I'm just, I'm, I'm marking it off, but I, I know, cause I know what I'm going to do and <laughs> I don't want that handle on there. And so I'm going to go in and cut off that handle. I don't know. It just didn't really fit the vibe of what I was trying to do. So I cut off the handle and I guess I could have done this after I was, done painting and, and took off the tape but anyway here we go just taking way too much red paint in fact i had to take some of the red paint and put it back in the container because i'm like wow that was you're about to waste a lot of paint there and now that that's dry i'm going in and tracing the shape on there because i want to cut out the craft paper to match the shape because I like to cover up that back. I know you're not gonna see it, but just in case you do, I wanna cover it up. And I'm just using a glue stick that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm putting down that brown craft paper. Then I thought, wait, you wanna put, see, I'm, I'm taking off all the hairy parts of that jute twine. So if you, if you do this, be careful if you're using a lighter, be careful when you're doing it. But anyway, so I'm gonna put jute twine on and I didn't, I couldn't, think if I wanted to do it before I put the paper on or after so I decided to put it on before but if I had to do this project again I would do it after I don't know, just made it kind of lumpy on the back and so now I'm going to finish gluing down that brown craft paper Now that everything is dried and the back is covered up, I'm just taking some more of those felt stars and I'm just adhering them to the top. You could paint those on, you could use wooden stars. There's all kinds of things that you could use to embellish this. You could use little sticker stars, just about anything. And I'm just trimming up that brown paper so it doesn't show quite as much through to the front. And on to our final project. I took two more of these tags. They come in a set. Um, don't let Dollar Tree charge you for each one because it's a set. And um, the other side is black chalkboard. And so I'm just giving both of these a coat of the white paint. Although I really only needed to do it on one, but I did it on both. And now I'm just gonna, I'm not using tape, painter's tape. I'm just freehanding this line. Probably should have just used painter's tape, but I was trying for the, I don't know, rustic look. And then I'm painting the other one. This is why I didn't need to paint it white because I was just gonna be painting it blue. But anyway, I gave it a base coat of white, I guess. And now I'm trying to distress them. I'm just using that sanding block that I got from Dollar Tree, distressing them up a bit. I don't know, I just don't want them looking too bright and like, Pretty. I want them looking distressed. Now I'm trying to figure out how I want to add stars on. Do I want to add all the stars on? Some of the stars on. So yeah, I just decided to add those stars there. Again, these are the felt stars. I got those from Hobby Lobby. You could use stickers. You could use, um, you know, all kinds of things. Now I'm going to hot glue these together because I'm going to add some tower tumbling or you know Jenga blocks to the back. So it'll kind of stand on its own. And I think this turned out cute. I did one just like this, but in neutral colors. 
and I like the neutral one better, but this one turned out super cute too. Okay, so this is how they all turned out, and the mason jar one, that was $1.25 for the sign. I already had the jute twine. The Jenga blocks, it was $1.25 for the pack, and um, the three blocks there, those are $1.25 each, so that's $3.75, and that clay pot in the back, you can get that for $1.25 at Dollar Tree. Those um, gift tag shapes, that's you know $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. And the felt stars, I got those at Hobby Lobby. It's a huge pack, or it's a relatively big pack. And so, I mean, I would estimate I'm using about a dollar's worth. And I still it comes up with a pack of red, white, and blue. And I just used the white, and I didn't even use all of them. And the burlap was from dollar um, from Hobby Lobby that was on sale, and I barely used any, as you can see. And I've got some um the jute twine. Why am I zooming in on jute twine? Who knows? But anyway, I already had the jute twine, but you can get jute twine on Amazon. You can get it at Hobby Lobby. You can get it at Dollar Tree. I've got a link to the one I use in the description box below. Oh, there's the flowers. Hello. Those were $1.25 as well. Uh, I don't know what I was doing when I was filming. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really hope you enjoyed it and you know, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, all the things. You guys know what to do. If you want to follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Gray House, but just don't follow me in real life, though. Because, because that's, that's creepy. creepy. Bye.